Here we are at Got Gas 63. Today we're going to talk about HHO tank construction. Over here we have a couple pieces of 3 inch and 2 inch PVC. You can buy these right at Home Depot in 24 inch length. Now I've cut 10 inches off each one. Each one of these tanks over here has a 10 inch piece of pipe inside. The bottom caps down here are rounded on the bottom not the flat caps. You glue a cap on the bottom of each one and then for the top this used to be a coupler and it's been cut off a ring's been cut off the top and glued on the top of this tank to make it thicker so when we put our plumbing stopper in it's got a thicker edge so when you tighten down the nut and it expands it stays tight now these are just standard plumbing test stoppers right from Home Depot or Lowe's. The bolts have been changed over to stainless steel so they don't rust. And the tanks are clamped on with standard 3 8 um, shanks on these muffler clamps. Okay, This 2 inch tank takes a 2 and a quarter inch clamp and this one takes a 3 and a half inch clamp. And you can see up here we have nylon tubing or vinyl tubing, whatever you have. You can slide it on there to protect the plastic. And you just drill some holes through a metal strap and you can bolt them right on. Now we're going to talk about what's inside the main tank now. Down inside the tank, as you can see down in here, we have a piece of quarter inch thick clear plastic to separate the tank halves. What that does our outlet is over here on this side this is our outlet down here and then on the other side we have the inlet to the cell where the water goes back down now I'm going to turn this on and power it up so you can see how this keeps the water separated in the tank so that you're not sucking bubbles back down into your HHO cell it works really well and it also you turn the plastic piece inside so it faces the back wall where the cell mounts and it keeps the clamp from crushing the PVC when you tighten it. You don't need it on the small one. If you look down inside the small one, it has nothing. But the big one, you need a separator. If you don't have the separator, you're going to be sucking gas bubbles back down into your cell. That's pretty much it for tank construction today from Got Gas 63.